This is the GAM Go Light system. The heart of the GAM Go Light uh, queuing system is the GAM Go Light cube. This cube measures one inch square by about three inches long and it weighs less than one ounce. In this cube are four LEDs white, red, blue, and green. These four LEDs are very bright and they have a high intensity. They can be seen at 20 feet or more away on a dark or even a fully lit stage. And their viewing angle is almost 120 degrees. However, they don't put out a great deal of illumination so that in used in a blackout situation as a guiding light, for example, they will not illuminate the stage. Tabs as you can see here, can be used to mount it. And the tabs, uh, can, you can either screw or tack it to a wall. We could Velcro it in place. We could gaffer tape it in place. We could glue it in place. It is so lightweight and so uh, small, it's easy to mount just about anywhere you need to place it. The Go Light cube is controlled by several options. One of them is the four-channel manual controller. This, is, this control is fairly lightweight, compact, can be handheld and it has four switches on it for the white, red, blue, and green. It is powered by a power transformer and can be used anywhere from 90 volts to 230 volts. Or another option, if need be, is to run it from a battery supply that plugs into the same jack. When there is power on the unit, there is a little LED green that indicates that you have power. I mentioned there are other options. In addition to the manual controller, we have uh, the same manual controller that can be rack mounted. We also have a DMX uh, supply that can give you four channels uh, of control uh, up so you can bring a DMX signal to it. And we can also do increments of that up to 12 channels, uh, 12 uh, lines, I should say, and 48 channels of a control from a DMX signal so we can use it off a show controller. We wire the low voltage uh, GAM go light using six wire telephone cable. We've selected this uh, cable because it is readily available, it's economical, it's extremely reliable and it allows us to have connectors that, that are also uh, matched with the females in the go light cube so the system is just ready to plug and go. Uh, so we just simply plug from the GAM go light controller from the A or out channel to the in channel of the go GAM go light. And if you follow this string, you can see what's happening. And we loop through from in to out to in to out in sequence. We can sequence about 30 go light cubes a thousand feet from one uh, controller. Another interesting feature about the controller is that we can, um, aside from mounting it anywhere in the line and using it, we can also move it. Uh, let's just assume that we are doing a show mostly from stage right and we're queuing it. But at some point, second act, or scene three, whatever, we need to go to stage left to see it, do a sight cue and, and control it from the opposite end of the string of cue lights. What we can do is unplug this end from the A connector, go to the other end of the unit and plug that into the B connector. And then we can ex execute the cues from that location. There's another option already uh, available. It is a 20 amp relay that can be operated from the controller, from one of the color channels on the controller. We can place this manual uh, controller anywhere along that line. So for example, if we would like some feedback, we can get that feedback. Let me give you a situation where you might have that problem. We're about to do a pyro. It's going to be quite an explosion. It's a one shot. I want to tell the pyro, ready for you. Are you ready? Maybe he's ready, maybe he's not. If he's not ready, he might flash back to me a signal that we've decided, like the red flickering, that he's not ready. Then that would give me an indication that we have to slow down and wait for him to give me a ready light. 
So that feedback can be very important. Let me give you another situation. We have a costume change. So we install one of these along the line. We give them, again, we give them the warning light. They might come back and flash us, uh, not ready, the zipper's stuck, who knows why. They need another few moments. And then they can flash when they, uh, another cue, tell us that they're ready, and then we can proceed. I'd like to show you also some of the interesting built-in safety features we have. Let's say that this cube has been placed in the circuit backwards. I'm going to plug it in the wrong way. I've got 30 of these stretched out over 1,000 feet. I have no idea that one of these is wired backwards. I can't see it. Back here at my controller, although all the switches are off, I can see that two of the LEDs are on, the red and the blue, but everything is off. That tells me that something is backwards. Which one is backwards is another problem. I hate to have to go through 32 of them to check, but any cube that is on at this point with a blue light is wired backwards. All I have to do is reverse the situation and I corrected my fault and I'm back in operation and I can continue to use the system as it's intended. Everything is working fine. I'd also like to point out that sometimes these could be installed in very dark places and to make it a little bit easier to accomplish things without errors, we have embossed and impressed the, the two uh, indications, in and out. The in is raised, the out is recessed. So even if you were in a dark situation, I could use the Braille system to feel which is the in and which is the out to continue to wire properly. The GAM Go Light is flexible, economical, reliable, versatile. Whether you're a small black box theater, community stage, or a giant opera, or a Las Vegas spectacle, it is absolutely the choice, your solution for your Q-Light requirements.